is back. You did it, lad. We must have lots of catching up to do. Or patching up. And I'm to understand that your escape attempts, they are officially approved, isn't that so? That's so indeed, sir. Especially for now, at least. I'm going to keep on fighting to the surface. Helps me to vent a bit, and like Hypno says, it makes the underworld a better place. Though indirectly, I suppose. Well, then I look forward to working with you in a more formal capacity. And it is my sincerest hope that you, your mother, and your father learn to get on better with each other now. Thank you. Yes, your highness! Um, Prince, so is it really true, then, that you're staying? And that you'll be working here officially, I guess? I, well, when you put it that way, yes, I guess it is. We're going to try and make it work like this for now. Well, you know what that means, don't you? We're official co-workers now. Isn't that so exciting? We can share our latest learnings, compare notes about the challenges we're up against, run into one another in the hall. Do so. We've been doing everything you said this entire time. But it is not the same. The entire field is completely different now. You'll see. So, okay, bye. Bye. Hello, my son. Um, Mother, was it always custom in Father's house to secretly give nectar to those you care about? I guess it also could have been a thing on Olympus. Look, I wanted you to have this. I'm so glad I found you. Oh, Zagreus, you're so thoughtful, truly. Your father never permitted nectar out in the open, so I'd practically forgotten its savor. Though, just a moment. I have something for you, too. Oh, Mother, thank you. How has it been for you so far, Mother, reacclimating to all this? You said before it was a struggle. It must be very strange being back, being in darkness all the time. You know, I think it's gone all right so far. Thank you for asking, son. Everyone has been quite welcoming. The darkness is a pleasant change of pace. And while the stress can be a little difficult to move in, I quite like it. That's good to hear. I have to admit, I was a little worried you'd be desperate to return to your cottage by now. This place can be a little much. I'm sure it can. And I do miss my little cottage here and there, but... I think I'm through running away. There may be times when it is necessary, of course. But no matter how far you run, it doesn't make your problems go away. You taught me that, you know? I did, but... I tried desperately to run away myself. Oh. Indeed. You hung the painting where I asked? Yes. Greetings, Father. So, I can just head on out there again whenever I want. Don't need to stick to any rigid schedule. Your unpredictability is one of your assets. All defenses must always be on guard. So yes, Go about your business as you best see fit. And the Olympians are going to keep helping me, thinking I'm trying to get away from you to them. We can't keep this up with them forever, you know. I do. Your mother, the Queen, is working on that. Well, look at you, boy. Never seen you quite so perky, relatively speaking, of course. Big, tough guy like yourself. You must have missed Mother just as much as she missed you. Well, you've got plenty of time for catching up on things now. The monstrous triple-headed beast of Hades would perhaps be overcome with pure emotion by the joyous circumstances, were he only capable of this. How dare you, sir. There's a good boy. Thought you'd like that. Cerberus is overjoyed to have received such a delicious treat. Take her sweet time. Hey, watch it, Hypnos. That's my mother you're talking about. What, really? Huh. So then your mom doesn't spend any time with you either. We've got something in common. We don't. Access to the administrative chamber, huh? I think we'll go with this. Father always said if I wanted privilege access again, I'd have to earn it. 
Do not touch anything again in the administrative chamber. Never thought I'd come back here again. The administrative chamber's ever-working shades remain utterly dedicated to their thankless toil, all because of an inspiring rendition of how dedicated they ideally should be. Everybody hang in there. Take a quick look, then. Easy. Huh. The cool, purified waters of the Styx are available in limitless supply to all servants of the God of the Dead authorized to work endlessly within the house administrative chamber. The job's number one perk. No thanks. Daedalus Hammer Records. Records of my keepsakes. aspects. of my weapons. Ah. Persephone, the queen. She has returned. I scarce believe a child. You have brought her back to all of us. I scarce believe it too. What happens now? Pick up the pieces and begin again. Together, let us find out. Just so I understand. Breaking through everything in your path, taking resources from your father's realm, trying to get through me. All officially part of the job description. I guess that's right. But before you ask, I'm not doing it for him. I didn't think you'd have it in you to leave this place for good. But I didn't think you'd take responsibility for anything either. Anyway, we'll just have to kill each other more officially, I guess. We'll make it official. Sounds got the top honors again, I guess. What's for sale? It's a deal. Extra keys. Seems like a good deal. Let's have that nectar. Sure, why not? The garden's always open now. The Garden of Persephone, the Queen, off-limits to the Prince throughout his life, now is laid bare to him at last in all its splendor. Not like Mother's Cottage, but not bad.
Your mom is back in town from what I hear, boyo. It's awful nice knowing I trained you well. Um, you must mean the Queen, and evidently you're aware of our relationship. You keep that quiet, understand, Skelly? Ah, and thus the pupil trains the master for a change. I hear you, pal. Your secret's safe with me. It better be. Oh. Ah, no. What's that one there? What I miss? Ever-shifting hell of Tartarus. You can't contain me, don't you know by now? <laughs> 